Okay, this is a quick one. So, imagine you're using Discord on PC, right? On a Windows computer. And I can assure you that majority of the people nowadays that have Discord on the computer, they've downloaded it a long time ago, probably over a year ago, because you're watching this and you're trying to figure it out. Did you know that there was a 60-bit version of Discord that is available for you to download right now? I can assure you majority of the people that are using Discord PC on a Windows PC, Discord Windows PC is using a 32-bit version. And that 32-bit version is holding you the back, okay? I've had a screen share issue for two years. I've contacted Discord. They told me to reinstall Discord, and it did, and I still had this issue. But as soon as I download 64-bit issue, this 64-bit client, this issue is gone. It ceased to exist. So I'm going to tell you how to do that. Now, this video should have been recorded a lot earlier because now it may seem that I'd be a dummy. But if you go to discord.com, and you head over, you see this imagine a place, this nice shenanigans, right? And you hover over, download for Windows. You can see at the bottom left of the screen, the URL. And you can see at the end, it's the architect is 64-bit. Before, it was x86. And that means that that was 32-bit. And that was the default. And if you go to the downloads page, and you go for download for Windows, you can see now that it's also 64-bit. And before, it was 86 x86 which is 32 bit and you cannot change that there's no drop down menu or selection menu at all so you're forced to download 32 bit by default and now it's 64 bit ever since that tweet that arch remained on twitter which i'm gonna show a screenshot on on the screen or something like that ever since they made that tweet discord changed the default to 64 bit i don't know if it was bad timing or if discord saw that and was like oh yeah we need to change that but if you have a 32-bit client, download 64-bit of Discord if your PC supports that, which majority of the computers nowadays support it. Download that and use that because I can assure you majority of the issues that you have with 32-bit will be a no is non-issue anymore with 64-bit. And all you have to do is just click download and then run it. You don't need to do anything else. For me, I just ran it and it reinstalled Discord, and I'm still logged in, everything's there perfectly, it's just like I restarted Discord. Of course, if you have a client modifier like Vencord or Better Discord, then you would wanna reapply that, but other than that, get, get 64-bit, get 64-bit. The last thing that's funny is, you can scroll down, you can see all these downloads, you can see Linux with all these drop-down menus, and you see feeling experimental, you go to public test build, before there was a 32-bit here, and now it's only 64-bit. And you can see, now they've archived 32-bit. I don't know if it's bad timing. Like I said earlier, I don't know if it's bad timing or if they saw it or just tweet or just tweet or something. But they legit archived 32-bit until July 15, 2024. So, if you're watching this, even if you're watching this right now, what you can do is go to your task manager on your Windows computer, right click the bottom taskbar or wherever your taskbar is, and then select task manager and open Discord. If there's a bracket 32 or 32 bit on there, you have Discord in 32 bit and update it to 64 bit. Because not only is it gonna be unsupported anymore after July 15th, but you will be saved with a lot of your issues that you might encounter right now. I, this video is going to explain a lot more if it was a few days ago, but this is how it is now. So go to discord.com or discord.com slash download. Download up a new client for 64-bit. Run that crap. And you're, and you're safe. Cheers.